What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another daily dose of Brood War episode. Here we have Speed versus Jadong. I was told I was uh given this replay by Dude Nerd and told that this is going to be a fantastic game. Kind of an unorthodox game, so I'm looking forward to find out what that means. Could be something interesting here. Speed definitely un unorthodox Terran player and Jadong he, he has some tricks of his own although he hasn't been showing off the greatest of results recently I hope to see him return to some of his previous form in the future but it feels like uh, maybe a long lost hope or it, an unlikely thing to hope for, unfortunately. It seems like Jadong's glory days have kind of passed him. I know it's not a popular opinion, but I really do feel like he's starting to fall apart. He's still such a great name to have in the sport. So amazing to see him play even now in 2023, but it's just not quite at that pinnacle of play. So he he's actually a good match for, for a player like Speed, right? Speed is... As well, he's not a top tier, he's not an S tier player. He's like borderline ASL material. I know he's made it into the ASL, but you know, he's not someone that we expect to make it into the ASL every season. And so you know, Jadong being someone that we expect to make it in, but even though our expectations are high for him not really performing at that super high S tier level. Should be a good matchup here. Now we're playing on Radeon here, cross map position, and we're gonna have a factory coming up. I'm gonna see that one Marine over here at two minute 50. I think he's got a pretty good idea that there's probably some tech play coming here from speed. So we should see a sunken colony thrown down here in about 30 seconds. And that should prevent any sort of run by here with the early factory now there's only one scv here on the gas so pretty clear that speed not planning to go for like a two port wraith player or anything looks like he will just be throwing down the cc and utilizing this factory to take a bit of map control and force back any lings that might have been made by jadong now jadong does need to make this here and finally make that sunken colony yes there it is about seven seconds late, but we are cross map, so maybe he's really timed this out properly. Uh, I think it will finish in time here. It is quite the rush distance to go cross map from this spot, so yeah, it seems like it will indeed make it on, uh, make it there in time. So mapping that out pretty darn well. We are gonna have a starport. Two, okay, it is two starport. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, this is weird. Yeah, this is some weirdness coming out of our Terran player here. Generally, if you're going to go two star port, you're not going to play quite like this. This this doesn't really make a whole lot of sense what speed is doing, but it might actually end up working out pretty well for him. You can see Jadong setting up a barrier here at the front of his base. By the way, guys, this is played very recently here in March of 2024 trying to run by with the uh vultures this is exactly oh this is so nice look at what he's doing right here we've got the two lings hidden underneath the overlord that's uh purely pre prevent the run by because you cannot target you can't right click those lings to kill them with the vulture and it, they will automatically always target the uh, sunken colony it has a higher priority so yeah this is this is a great play by jadong he's not gonna allow these vultures to run by but he's sitting here mining on just two bases whereas you know we're gonna have this two base economy here for speed and he will be getting up some good defense the hydralis den is on the way where is that hydralis den place it's in the main so hmm the hydralis den is interesting he sees one wraith this doesn't really tell you a whole lot. All it tells you is that there is a starport. You don't know that there's two starport here. 
engineering bay on the way. It feels very late, this engineering bay, actually. This engineering bay, I don't think this finishes in time to make turrets because we've already got five mutas on the way now. The nice thing about what the speed is doing right here is that he's getting himself into a cloak right now. So his cloak upgrade is coming in. And with the cloak upgrade here, maybe he can hold off these first few mutas, right? The mutas are going to be coming. We don't have turrets here. But right as the mutas arrive, he can cloak with, I guess, four or perhaps five wraiths. Suddenly jump on top of the mutas and then gun them all down really quickly. Oh, spots some of these scourge here. Don't get hit by that scourge, okay? He does keep that alive. Mutas are going to be heading out. All, uh, overlords are on the way across the map here, but the o overlords do not have speed, and we don't have speed on the way or anything. Lings are being made. Lurker upgrade is being made. None of this really helps to beat Cloak Wraith, though. So you can see that Jadong really had the wool pulled over his eyes this game. He has no idea that this is actually the play right now from speed speed gonna make one bunker and he's gonna fly out with these wraiths he's gonna kind of shock jadong with these wraiths right now i think he's coming across he's gonna find the lurker eggs this is also big seeing the lurker eggs he should immediately make a uh, a machine shop for his uh factory here ling's gonna go across the map with all of the mutas we do have that bunker but only two marines in that and wow the uh, mutas are just gonna go straight across the map he's gonna cloak here Okay, he does cloak. Cloak does come down. SCV's on the bunker. Bunker is staying alive for now. Link's gonna run by into the main right now. Cloak Wraith's doing their job, picking off some of these mutas, but the mutas do get a free uh, exit out of this position. You're in a bit of a uh, sticky situation there with the uh, Wraiths. You can chase them down by you know, movement, uh, keep, keep moving forward and just hitting them over and over again. So it's very, very good that he managed to get rid of that. But look at that, the turret goes down in the front and now the uh, bunker looks like it's gonna fall here. He's gonna pull back the Marine, but we got nothing in these bunkers. Where is the vessel? There it is, vessel is on the way, but I don't think there's enough energy. Okay, he does have enough energy at least to cloak these once again. One uh, lurker gonna try to run up into the main. Just buying some time so that these lurkers can run up and kill a bunch of SCVs. Tons of SCVs going down right now. This is working out way better than I thought it would for Jadong. Jadong dealing a lot of damage there. Oh, it's like going to take one hit from a Scourge. And he's getting his third base online, which is very important. You want to get that third gas set up here. Real nice and quick. There's the vessel about to pop out. As soon as the vessel's out... These lurkers are dead because they're not going to be able to run away and they will be revealed here to the wraiths. So all of those lurkers are going to die, but they did a pretty decent job of holding back speed just for a little bit so that he could, you know, get his third base up. Oh my gosh, there's lots of wraith or there's lots of overlords over here on this side of the map. That's not good, but he will finish overlord speed. He just needs to buy a little bit more time. The overlord speed is going to finish. That is a big upgrade here right now. If he lost like four overlords right now, that would be really, really painful. You can see he's just on the edge here of what he can afford. He does not have that many drones right now. Rebuilding a bunch of overlords at this point would be really difficult and painful for him. But now the overlord speed is done. He is going to save those with some good uh, Hydralis defense. Oh, maybe we can pick off a few of these. No, not even one. Not even one is going to go down here. Sorry, guys, I had to sneeze there for a second. We did lose the vessel, unfortunately. Vessel going down right now. Painful, painful loss there. He managed to get one radiate off, but I don't think it did a whole lot of damage. Throwing in some Scourge right now and gunning down the Wraiths with the Hydras, focusing them down. Doing a good job of that, but two bunkers here. Gonna keep speed alive for now. And and I don't know if this build from Speed is really worth it. It's so teched out. It's so fancy. It really doesn't give you a lot of power. It feels like Jadung's walked the tightrope pretty darn well here. Having the early block at that front. 
doing that well executed attack with Hydra, uh, Lurker, and uh, Ling Muta was really slowing down speed a lot. He wasn't really able to make use of his surprise attack with the uh, bunch of Cloak Wraiths, right? What he was looking to do is when the Mutas finally came across the map, he was looking to suddenly shock Jadong with like eight, uh, eight Wraiths and Cloak and then just kill all the Mutas. That was the plan, really. That's what Speed was looking to do, but he was not able to get that done. Now he's finally on... Jadong's side of the map with his ray. It's gonna start to pick off a few drones here. He can one shot right now with the six ray six wraiths that he's he's got picking off quite a few drones, but does get driven back here. Will be transitioning into a bio play. Bio with tank as well. He's making vessel and tank right now. Because he's got the gas to do so, but two gas doesn't actually it doesn't really work double vessel and tank there's not enough gas to make all of those things happen at the same time so we'll see what he decides to make so far it's been tank and siege mode we've kind of cut production in terms of the number of vessels we're creating right now but he might switch back into that again in just a moment here hive is just finishing up right now jadon at risk of losing some more o overlords out on the map might be able to pick off this. Looks like those are going to go down. Scourge, you're not able to make it past those bunkers. Putting up a couple of spore colonies at the edges of the base, making sure he's not going to lose too many more drones here. I like it from Jadon. Some drones getting picked on the transition, though. It's a little bit unfortunate for him. And in the main base, he didn't set up any defenses whatsoever, so... Gonna kill like four, five, six drones here. That was pretty darn good for speed. That really makes up for a lot of this slowdown that he's experienced because of the uh, push and pushes and timing attacks of Jadong. Speed got slowed down, but now he's actually making a lot of that up by picking off some drones here and slowing down the economy of Jadong equally as much, if not more. Three overlords going down as well. It's going to rotate back around to the main. I think this is the last ride for these wraiths. They are going to be picked off. They did their best, though. And yeah, there goes that last one. They bought that time. They dealt that damage. And now while Jadong is rebuilding drones, it's going to be time to push in here. We don't have consume yet. And he's just spotting this marine tank army coming across the map now. So we've got quite a few irradiates ready. We'll throw down three, four irradiates. And then another couple of irradiates from some of these higher energy vessels. So all the lurkers are going to get irradiated here. And the tanks are going to start to siege up right in the front. This is a dangerous moment here right now for Jadon. He doesn't have many lurkers. It's mostly Hydra Ling. And a lot of Lurker eggs just popping out right now. Lurkers over on the right-hand side are dying. Hydras are trying to buy that time. Lurkers popping out. The Hydras have to fight to help the Lurkers to at least get underground here. We've got a Defiler on the way. Two Defilers actually out here in the front now. Consume is just about done. It looks like Jadong just barely going to hold with that Consume. He can run forward. And drop the lurkers in the face of this army. Push back those tanks. Kill off these tanks. Kill the, some of the marines as well. And yeah, he will end up holding this. So well played here by Jadong. Buying just barely enough time to keep himself alive in this game. But speed is not done. He's going to rotate here. Try to come in towards the third base before we have defiler support in this area. There's the defilers. There's the dark swarm. He will be able to push everything back. We do not have Plague yet, so Plague cannot be used here to kind of push the issue to get more value out of this, but he will defend for now. Keeping himself alive, I think, is a good consolation prize to picking off that whole army. So, we should have Crackling upgrade coming pretty soon, I imagine. More Lurkers, more Hydras, or is he just going to go full on Lurker... Hydra uh, Defiler here. Is that the plan? 
we are getting missile attacks right now and i think we do have speed and range upgraded for these hydras so he's gonna go ahead and consume a couple of things drop into the dark swarm here but that defiler will die pure hydra produ production right now hydra and a few lings being smashed out at the moment now it's time for plagues to start coming in and plagues are where you can really get the value out of your composition here because without the plague you're never going to be able to kill this huge group of vessels the vessels are just going to continuously irradiate over and over you need to get a plague on these and then start to snipe those vessels a little bit otherwise you're always just going to be kind of behind in terms of your gas and in terms of your trading here so here comes the defiler we're going to look for that plague this is a very important moment here for Jadong. He's got the consume. He's wiggling his way out towards this army. There's that plague that he wants, the juicy plague. Can he get it right now? I don't think he will. And the irradiate comes down. That is unfortunate. We'll go ahead and drop a dark swarm, I imagine. Second defiler. Here we go. This is our second chance here. Can we get a big juicy plague on some of these units over here? Where's that Defiler? It's lagging a bit behind. He needs to get it into position. A lot of fire bats in this army. Where's the plague? Throw it down. There it is. The big plague. Plague. Ooh. On all of that army right there. Ooh. That was a deadly, deadly plague. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to drop Dark Swarm on his units because there were fire bats. This time he will. And he should start to snipe down some of these science vessels as well. He's going for it. One goes down, but. Not able to get the big trades he was looking for. Here we go. Snipe, snipe, snipe. Go for it. This is the time here. Jadong, you've got to start sniping these vessels, man. He's coming from behind with quite a few Lurker Hydra. Hydra's targeting down the vessels that have high HP. He's got to go for these ones right here. Start to target them down. There's only a few Marines left over, but they do fight incredibly well against just pure Hydra with no Defiler or Lurker support. Looks like these vessels will live to fight another day i cannot say the same about the medics though they're all gonna get picked off here here we go oh the hero hydra get them all get them all get them all one more one more oh my goodness four kill hydra all of them vessels that was the big moment that was the swing that jadong really truly needed he will be taking this base over here and it'll be up to speed to try and deny that. Can he get over there and stop that from occurring? He managed to grab a base over here. So he is doing fairly well, but his worker count is not that impressive. We're only at 43 workers here, 18 minutes into the game. It's not really enough for a Terran player to saturate through bases. So you can see we really don't have that many workers here as what you would expect from a uh, three base Terran. That means that his money's gonna kind of bank up a little bit slower, but it also means he's gonna mine out slower as well. So he can fight here on three bases for quite some time. Great plague there. Really excellent plague. Dealing a ton of damage to these Marines. You do really want to get the plague on the vessels though. The vessels are what count in this matchup and he's gonna start to track down some of these Marines that are on the retreat here. Has that fourth gas online now. Nidus Canal over to that base as well. And the vessel count is starting to grow once again. Marines and medics moving through the middle of the map are going to encounter a few of these Hydras. Starting to throw down uh, radiates just willy-nilly here on a, a Hydra. Going to turn that into a Lurker Egg. It does save the Lurker Egg. Uh, does save the Hydra, making that into a Lurker Egg. Because by the time it finishes... Oh, 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 plague, 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 plague. Big plague there. Very good job picking that off right now. Lurkers here on the right-hand side. It's hard to remember to keep building lurkers in these type of situations, but he will have a lurker out here in time. A dark storm in time as well. He's going to start to pick off more and more vessels. Very nicely done. That was in the nick of time there. The defiler popping out, consuming and throwing down the spells. If any of those three things doesn't work out perfectly, you can just lose that base right now and potentially this game. So speed, he will be drawn back for now, forced to retreat and find another pathway into this Zerg player's base. Where can he attack right now? 
that is not perfectly defended. We've got Plague here. Another big Plague should be coming down. Okay, Plague only on these Marines, but that's going to be enough, I think, for now. The Plague helps out so much with the Hydra just gunning down everything. Nice. Picking off two more vessels here. Coming from behind as well. Oh, man. He's going to get all these vessels, I think. He's got kind of a, a pincer here on the vessels, although they do have some area to run away that is it speeds had enough he's gonna go ahead and tap out here i think he might have been able to potentially play this game out a little bit further but it was getting pretty darn hectic at this point we've got some very good upgrades on the hydralis we're getting more bases here as jadong and speed really hasn't been growing too much he was still sitting on just the 39 40 some workers here and if you're going to be going up against this kind of composition it's really important to start throwing down factories out here in the front and putting down armories in your main to upgrade those mech units to start getting like masses of tanks out so that you can do something in a very long late game maybe even go down like send an scv down here it looks like i don't think that jadong's actually ever scouted this area so if he was you know, for example, to come over here and drop a factory and just start making tanks. You make like five tanks here passively, uh, you know, on a hotkey, just keep making tanks while you're doing everything else. Then you suddenly move over here and set up and transfer workers down here. And it makes it super hard for the Zerg player to come down through this long passageway with all the tanks on this high ground. It's just almost impossible to make any headway down there. So that is a way that he could have continued this game, but Speed decides to tap out. It was a great kind of interesting take here from Speed, the way he decided to play this one. So I'm really glad we got to see this. And guys, that's it for your daily dose of Brood War. I'll see you tomorrow.